After a busy week of tea making, bread baking, weeding and more weeding, chicken feeding, tincture tending, soil amending, the washing of dishes and the cooking of fishes, I felt like running away. So I did. Welcome to Twig and Feather. I'm Shannon. I am taking a day to shop for herbs and a willow tree, courtesy of my very sweet friend who I helped to sell uh, two properties for her. I'm getting ready to list a third, but she just did the nicest thing for me and gave me a very generous gift and told me to go get something for myself. So I knew instantly that what I wanted to get was a willow tree. So thank you to my very sweet friend. I am at Flower World um, in Maltby, which is south of Seattle, north of Snohomish. I don't know if that helps any of you, but it's just a wonderful place. And I'm in the car right now because it is 140 degrees out there, otherwise known as 80 degrees in the Pacific Northwest, sweltering. <laughs> and if you have watched any of my videos from summers past, you know that I don't do well in the heat. And I know I'm gonna say it before you can say it for me, I am a whiny baby. But that's because I start to get sweaty and then I start to get crabby. I just feel myself go like this. <laughs> I wilt and it's just not for, fun for anyone. So I'm not gonna make you watch that. But I am gonna go through all of these really wonderful greenhouses and do my shopping and I will show you some snippets of the herbs that I'm looking at. They have everything here, every kind of plant you could want. Um, I am, it's gonna be hot out there, so you might see a little bit of that wilty, crabby part of me, but I'm comforting myself right now with this fabulous truth only 159 days until Christmas. So, <laughs> hey, if you like the heat, I don't need to hear about that because I'm surrounded by you crazy people all the time. But if you are like me, if you're my compadre when it comes to this utter detestation of all things too hot, I mean, like, why should it ever be above 75 degrees anywhere in the world? I would love to hear a comment from you about that so that I know that I'm not alone. Anyway, let's go into flower world. would it be to tell people about the berry canary growing in your garden?
oh, I want so badly to bring five or six of these home. These are hops, and I've had to buy them all these years. I'd love to grow them. But being as they climb like crazy, and Dave would have to help me erect some 20-foot poles, I think I probably should talk to him first. <music> to the kindest, most patient, and least demanding man that you could ever ask for. But I have no doubt that if I brought this black bamboo home, Dave would firmly and politely march me back to the truck and instruct me to return them. So I think I'm just gonna leave them right here. It's times like these when I wish I knew how to do a cartwheel, because I would sure do one for you. I've been looking for this kind of pine tree for a long time. This is a compact Austrian pine, meaning it will only get 20 feet tall. This is a wonderful thing to have at the ready when we enter into the cold season. Have it. That was just a little taste of flower world. I feel like I'm yelling, but I'm back in the truck with the air conditioning on <laughs> to save my life. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you're ever up in this area, please let me know and I will drive down here and meet you. But I say let's go in the spring because this is midsummer and they have about twice the inventory earlier in the year. Although it's never a bad time to walk through flower world. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon.